but we we want to talk about you because you're coming to CHFA. I am. Um, you are you are part of um, a group of just some pretty amazing brands coming up, I think. Um, so we wanted to talk about that. We wanted to talk about, um, I think we're talking about the sludge. Is that mm -hmm. what we're talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm so we trying to know how to got that name. I, I want to know. Like, I I know, like as prepared as I am, right? Is I know nothing about the sludge. So, so, so I've got someone. I've got I've got some samples set last week. Like every all the everybody's been sending me samples because I'm obviously one of the judges, but I haven't had a chance to look at it. But one of the things I definitely wanted to talk to you about. So so you know what's happening. You got 10, 15 minutes right now. Typically, what this is designed to do is just get people prior to the show. When, if they're listening, whether it's a retailer or a distributor or a broker, and say, you know what, that sounded really interesting, very cool. I'm going to make sure I make the effort to go see one of the finalists of Launchpad. Mm -hmm. That's what the ship should do. That's what we hope it does for you. Mm -hmm. So that's what, so in 10, 15 minutes, you give us the highlights who you are, um, mm -hmm. what you do, why you do it, what the product's about, et cetera. I definitely want to get into the name because of the first time I thought I saw it, I thought, what the hell kind of name is that? But then it's, it, then it intrigued me to look at it more. So I'm thinking, you know, it probably wasn't the worst name in the world because now she's going to be trying to figure out what the heck this stuff is. So it's pretty it's cool. It sticks. Like it's, it sticks. So I know. Anyway, anyway. Kenny, cut up. Let Jackie talk now. Jackie, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, where do I start? Yes. Um, yeah, so the sludge was born really out of clinical necessity. So I've been in private practice for 25 years. Um, I'm, my professional designation is as a naturopathic doctor. So I've been in the profession of health and wellness um, pretty much my whole life. And in the very early days of practice, I was treating clients for all sorts of different health concerns and putting together different combinations of products um, to help get to the root cause of why these clients were struggling with the symptoms that they were struggling with. And part of my training as a naturopathic doctor is in getting to the root cause. So that's one of our principles is um, treating the cause of um, conditions or symptoms. So, And we treat the person and we don't treat the disease. So in the very early days of practice, I started to notice a pattern of improvements in people's health conditions in various different um, ages and for various different health challenges. So everything from skin to, um, to mood imbalances, energy, brain fog, um, digestive issues. So IBS type of a profile, constipation, diarrhea, alternating, lots of gas and bloating, heartburn reflux. So I was using the same combination of in of products and ingredients for a lot of different conditions and seeing really good results um, across the board. And um, patients would come back to me and they would report, you know, whatever you've whatever you've got me doing with that sludge stuff that you have me mixing at home, I'm feeling better. I don't know if this is all. They always used to say, I don't know if this is all in my head, but I'm feeling better. And you know, over time, this word kept coming up again and again, like it wasn't me planting that word in their That's head, right. they would come to me and say, they would feedback and say that sludgy stuff that you have me taking um, is, you know, I'm feeling better. So in about 2018, 2019, I started to run into supply chain issues. And I was no longer able to get some of the ingredients um, that I was having clients purchase individually. And so it occurred to me that if I was going to be able to continue to offer this to to my clients, that I might need to 
do this on my own. So um, as soon as I started to not be able to access some of the ingredients myself, I thought I, I should probably, and it was a very a sort of cumbersome process for my clients. So I decided to streamline it, um, to make it easier, to make it, um, to improve the the ability for patients to continue to to be on it they couldn't travel with all the ingredients so it was kind of a cumbersome process and so i teamed up with by original in saskatoon and we worked together to formulate an all-in-one product and in 2020 it was awarded um, an npn and of course when i was trying to come up with a name for the product i thought well it's of course it's the sludge and uh, so it kind of gives me goosebumps even now when I think about the journey that I've been on with the sludge because it has um, continued to evolve into um, a really powerful and um, impactful product. And it's stood the test of time since 2020. I've been able to continue to um, test the product and just continue to um, notice its results and um, continue to gather really positive feedback on it. So, um, okay. it's, well, wow. mm -hmm. so they were compounding this stuff at home. Like they were mm -hmm. mixing the small up. So you yeah. took away at least that part of the journey yeah. form. Okay. Well, that makes, that mm -hmm. makes, that makes sense. Can you, just again, cause Phil and I never prep <clears throat> for anything. Um, what exactly is it treating? What, like what, what ailments is this going after? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you think of your gut as a garden, in your garden, you have some weeds and you have some flowers and then you have the compost, which is the food that you eat on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And um, if so, sometimes what happens is your garden for various different reasons becomes weedy. And there are certain lifestyle factors that contribute to this. There may be certain medications that will cause the garden to get a little bit weedier. And when that happens, um, you become very symptomatic either directly within the gut or you may not have any direct digestive issues, but you may have more far reaching health symptoms. So you might have a history of headaches or eczema or psoriasis or um, fatigue, brain fog, um, you know, joint pain, hormonal issues, PMS. Um, so there are a, a range of issues that are connected to having a weedy garden. So essentially, you can think of the sludge as weeding your garden. It's your master, master gardener. I love the analogy. I actually love that a lot. I really um, do like the analogy of thinking, okay, that that actually is probably one of the first times I've ever understood that. So the tech the technical term for a weedy garden is dysbiosis. But when um when I use that term, people just kind of like go <laughs> what? What? See, that's what yeah. weedy garden yeah. we understood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sounds yeah, that sounds horrible. What does that mean? So I've decided to th that so I've coined the term gut as a garden. And um, I use that language all the time. And so now, of course, it uh, it warms my heart when clients come to me and they say, well, I've been weeding my garden and I, I think I think I'm I think it's making a difference. It, but when they use that language, it just makes me smile because it helps me realize that I've been able to get through to them, that they they don't need to know all the technical terms. There, There's a lot of science behind what what this is doing, but they don't need to know that. They just need to know that they're weeding their garden and they're they're quite happy with that analogy and they're feeling better. So it doesn't really, the the technical piece doesn't really matter to them. Actually, I like the approach, to be honest with you, because I think that's the problem sometimes with um, medicine is that and it doesn't matter which side, whether it's traditional or naturopathic, they get so caught up in, in the words and the terminology. You look at you thinking, okay, I have no idea what the hell you're telling me. Like just just fix me, man. I mean, and seriously. If you, look at, if you look at just um, what <clears throat> we would consider regular grocery items, so just probiotics and yogurt, and we can't get that right, right? Like mm -hmm. everyone needs to tell yeah. you about what kind of probiotic it is, how many millions of, you know, and everyone's like, I don't know if I'm supposed to have a million, a billion, 10 billion um, mm -hmm. active whatever in my gut. Like, I don't, you know, like why is, 
why is the commercial why are they dancing i don't understand right like but at least this one do you know what i mean like like you know that commercial they've been dancing for 10 years now right and you go i don't think anybody understands that right but tell me anything. I don't know you've been I'm able doing. to use a really simple thing to cut through with the bs it's been very complicated for all of us <laughs> right is you you need a great gut you know and then everything gets better right like you know i like it i, I like think it's it. good too so let me let's do this Jackie gardener if you're a retailer listening to to the podcast prior to the CHFA yeah. show, um, what kind of retail am I looking at for this product? Where would it sit in my store? Mm -hmm. um, where would I buy it from? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I do have a distributor. And right now the product is on the shelves in around 25 locations, um, the pure integrative pharmacies. Okay, and nice. it is also listed with Imper Imperial Distributors. Makes sense. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they're friends. They're pretty close friends, like family. Yeah. Okay, that's that's yeah. that's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. so people and can get it that way. Where it sits on the shelf is often with, um, it, it's different in, in some of the different locations. I've been around and sort of visited most of them. That's part of what I do is right. I go over around and I visit the retailers. I talk to the natural health uh, advisors. I speak with the pharmacists just because there is a lot of um, value in educating the the people who are, are forward facing with the client right. or the customer that comes in off the right. street. So it sits with, um, sometimes it sits in the gut health section in the with the natural products. Sometimes it's sitting with the fiber uh, products um, more in the pharmacy section. And really what I, um, the, the most common question I get asked is what's the difference between the sludge and let's say Metamucil or some other bulk forming fiber. Right. Um, and the answer lies in um, its mechanism of action and the synergistic properties that exist with the psyllium and, and the other ingredients in the product. So straight psyllium um, or straight Metamucil will not weed the garden. No. So if you already have a weedy garden and you try and take fiber, like let's say you you want to like add more fiber to your diet, so you start grinding flaxseed or you add Metamucil or some of these <laughs> other bulk forming fibers, it can actually make you feel worse. It can make you feel more bloated and, bloated for sure. um, and have a, even a fuller sense right. in your gut. And, uh, and and most people, a lot of people are walking around already feeling that way, and they don't understand why they can't figure it out. They'll say, "I'm eating well. I'm, you know, I'm taking. You know, some are already taking a probiotic. Some are, you know, they they just can't figure it out. And and oftentimes the symptoms will get worse as the day wears on, so that they feel like really horrible by the end of the day. And sometimes they'll say, "You know, I can eat a cheeseburger one day and feel fine. The next day I feel like." you know, I'm going to explode or I'll eat a salad and feel good one day and feel horrible the next day. So there's a lot of people don't understand what's going on with their guts. And, um, and, and it's really, it distills down into some really fundamental um, principles, but when they don't know what's going on with their bodies, there's a lot of um, guessing that goes on. Okay, cool. And what sort of, what's the retail of the product? Roughly. $49.99. Okay. And how, how long, what, what does that give me? 10 servings, 20 servings? or? Um, well, if you use a full serving that gives you 20 days, um, okay. most people, I usually am encouraging people to go to start at half a scoop, you know, as with any new product, I really do encourage people to just go low and slow. Like. Um, and because okay. of the, the power of the product, right? Because yeah, yeah, when, yeah. when you're weeding your garden, you know yeah. what? You can... Yeah, all sorts. You don't of want to wash out the yeah. entire garden. In yeah, we're not looking to get rid of the top. We're, we're not flooding. <laughs> we're not, you know, there's no, you know, See, don't you over water. And, yeah. <laughs> See, now I can, I can visualize this. So if you're weeding, I get it. You know, topsoil at least to stay. Some weeds may not be the worst weeds to have. You don't have to worry about those ones. Just get rid of the bad weeds for the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. You've got it. See? Almost an ND fill. Almost. You don't want to, I, I, um, I love this because I th I also think that you know having worked in like that category, right, Kenny? Like there's I've been not a lot for years. Of, there's just not a lot of options, no. right? Like the 
the big brands out there, they all do the same sort of thing in different dosages, or you have to go, you know, kind of the weird route with like things like Seneca. Do you know what I mean? Like, so you play both sides, um, right? Cause you weren't too sure if you were softening, you weren't too sure if you were oh, empty, yeah, yeah, you weren't yeah. too sure if was a thing. And most of the product, to be honest, like, like Story mm -hmm. Proctor, not the greatest products. Like Metamucil is def definitively not, you know, your number mm -hmm. one type of. Look, it it has a role. It's just that, you know, like, this is one of those categories that one yeah. is it's not cool and then it's it's you know like we've settled yeah. into a bunch of like yeah you know this will sort of do right but there are lots of people that are like i no i have options here now right what do i do right so i i really love i love this because i i think if you're a retailer this might be your um if you think of this product this might be your best product is you think of the other guys that we've talked about on the show <laughs> already as like good maybe there's a better in there but this might be the best right yeah. like retailers think about these things in roles right is if i have a good better best in this category that's it's it's a good thing to have right so um you know so there might be something to think about as well from a retailer if your retailer is you may now have a best in the category of you know digestive yeah. health that you should be thinking about so yeah give your consumers a choice if they want to choose meta which has been around for a trillion years that's fine <clears throat> but if you want something that might be compounded a little differently a little softer on on certain issues then you know you can wander into different spots and then it, it looks, i mean like i'm no pharmacist or anything but it looks like like for um you know people who take other medicines or things like that there's nothing in it that seems to interact with anything else right so well, as with any fiber, any bulk forming fiber, it does need to be positioned away from medications. So yeah. that that is pretty standard yeah. across the yeah. board. Um, and I think the way that I've been educating and talking to uh, the pharmacists and to the natural product advisors is that from my observation and experience, what ends up happening is that if you have a weedy garden, and I'll use this term um, all the time with them, there are a lot of other really great products that the customer could be benefiting from that they won't get the same benefit from because they're dysbiotic, they're weedy. And so once that clears up, then you have a better understanding of what really that person needs. So even the person that comes in and says, I can't take a B vitamin because it makes me feel sick. It's not often the B vitamin that's right. the issue. It's the fact that the person isn't absorbing it or um, not right. digesting it properly. So it actually helps make other supplements more effective. And um, even with medications, I mean, medications are only going to be as good as how well they absorb. Absolutely. And so we we really are. So this is like this this is like step one. Yeah, you know, get this sorted out, and then go ahead and take your your sleep remedies or your you know your multivitamins or whatever it is that you're dealing with. Um, and um, in over half of the time, the person is sleeping better anyway when their gut is better, so they actually yeah, don't this need the gut, right? Yeah, it sort of all starts there. That's you know, it does. You, that, you eat and drink; it goes to the gut. It's that's where it all kind of begins. So yeah. Yeah. In the first part, then hopefully the rest of the plumbing system is all working pretty good too then. Right. But well, you got to get the first part right. You do. And 70% of your immune system is there. 90% of your serotonin is produced in your gut. So uh, again, if, if we're, if we've got symptoms of depression or we're feeling anxious a lot of the time, it, the, that gut, the gut brain connection is, is key. You, you can't disregard that. No, that's, that's very, very cool. Oh, very cool. May, it's one more thing if I might ask because right now you're focused on um it's it's pretty much in, it's in the drug channel and with a drug distributor are you looking for distribution more into the natural channel are you looking for a distributor are you looking for brokers or are you, or are you just trying to or you want to grow this side you'll get drug stores that go to CHFA this is not mm -hmm. like 1970 anymore like it's packed with traditional and conventional uh yes. players as well Yes, I, I'm looking for it to be in the hands of um, what I would consider trusted advisors. And so people who have a little bit of that capacity and some background and understanding and knowledge, because um, I 
you know, I build relationships in, in with my clients. Pharmacists have relationships with with their customers. Natural product oh. advisors have relationships, and so there's already the trust there. And um, and and I like the idea that that trusted advisors are talking about the product. So, yeah, no. that that's important to me. Perfect. And we buy into that. We came from that side. So I like, yeah, I, I love these types of products. I think they just, they sep they, they, su they supplement and augment sets that really don't have, they've got a lot of old options that really have side issues of their own. They're not bad products necessarily, but they could be a lot better. This category needs better. It does need better. And, uh, and I've, and it needs a best. It and, definitely does. Um, and I've watched this category for, my whole career and yeah. that's why when i started to notice that i was going to run into issues around accessing ingredients i thought you know what if this is the time because no, nobody else had done it and i thought well i guess that's going to be me and uh, and i've never looked back and and it's yeah. been a really positive good journey good for you good for Very you cool. good for you you know uh, your booth number at the show by any remote chance Oh, um, I think it's 214. Yeah, so people know where to find you. I mean, yes. we'll double check yeah. them soon. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm there with Replete Labs. Okay, very cool. Okay. okay. Awesome. Um, awesome. Jackie, thanks so much. This is amazing. Thank you for doing yeah, this. Yeah, thank you very much. It's very yeah. interesting. And we'll come by and see you for sure. Yeah.